Hello all, this video is intended for adults and not for children. So hello, my name is Sharon and today's video is a Dollar Tree haul, which I'm super happy to finally have a Dollar Tree haul again. I don't get to the Dollar Tree very often. I only go when Nate is visiting his dad in the east end of the city. Our Dollar Tree here in Canada is mainly items for $1.25. You do have the odd item that is $1.50 this time around. I think I believe that everything I paid for besides one book was a dollar twenty-five and the book was a dollar fifty. So we'll just get started with this first item. I always love these reusable tote bags, so I chose this nice kind of olive green one with this diamond pattern. The side panel is just the same green without the diamonds. So I think I'm just gonna keep this in my stroller because I always seem when I do go out I never have my reusable bag with me. So I love that. And these bags have a lot of space in them, so you can carry a lot of items in them. So yeah, there's my receipt. So I have, like, most of it was $1.25, and there was just a one item at $1.50. So I love the store. Just I wish that there was more of them closer to me. So this I was super happy to get because when we did our little pawn, I said that I wanted the little frog candies. Now that I know that Dollar Tree carries them, I will go back and get them. So these are the Leaping Frogs and there's Gummy Candies. The package size is 120 grams. So i um, happy to know that they have these now. And uh, if um, you're also looking for these, somebody also mentioned to me that you can find them at the Bulk Burn as well. So that's good. And then every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I always pick up these chips so these are by old dutch and these are the creamy guacamole chips and there's 84 grams in the bag i absolutely love these they even they taste good straight out of the bag i actually got two and ate one on the way home on the subway but i also love these uh with layered melted cheese in between the uh, microwave and the microwave or just like uh you can bake it in your oven too i guess but i always microwave it love those chips then this was just a fun little item. So this is a little treasure chest that turns into a little bank. But it's a surprise one by Double Bubble. So it has gumballs. Uh, it says toys and stickers. And it's a 12 gram. It says it's for ages 4 and up. So I'll be a little surprise for Nathaniel probably when we do our pirate theme. I also did pick up some items that were more homeschool related. So that will be included in Friday's collective homeschool haul. And then these are always fun. Love these. And I was happy to get the two packs. So these are for ages four and up again. And these are the H2O blasters. So it's water squirters. I love these because they're not gun shaped, which I prefer. So you just drop this part back in the water and then you fill these up and you can shoot them at each other. So this one has like kind of like raindrops and like a kind of rainbow and uh, sparkly. And then this one has a sparkle with a blue and white like a chevron pattern so love those with the yellow tips and handles and then this is just something fun for neat to have it does not come with a straw but it has this nice little flower and it's just a coconut cup uh it is 4.13 inches by 5 inches so just a, another fun little summer drink item and then this i grab another one of these micro s <laughs> Uh, USB cables. So um, these are only a dollar twenty-five compared to at Dollarama. These are like three fifty to four dollars. So this is a six-foot one, and I chose the like coral kind of pinky color one. So love those as well. And then some socks for Nate. So these are shoe size seven to two, just fashion socks. Three pairs. They are mainly black, but the t um, at the top here they have light gray lime green and a dark navy blue these are 98 percent polyester two percent spandex i'm sticking to buying him black socks from now on and then this i thought was a fantastic little find so these are 15 tablets that fizz and tint your water so that's what I thought was really great. Something different. It looks like from the packaging, the colors are pink, blue, and yellow. But uh, love that. And just says Little Critters to make this. And this is out of Mississauga, Ontario. So love that. And hopefully they work well in the bath. So. 
and then just some crafty items so this I thought was fun this is a foam fun character it says so it's just a boat and it's got all the pieces it's it says pop dot adhesives included so it contains glitter non glitter foam pieces and pop dart adhesives and it's got all the pieces there so how fun trying to make this little boat <laughs> And then Nate is born in the year of the rooster. So I grabbed this. I will most likely paint this for him and it'll be like a keepsake. So this is uh, just the animal shapes I said and it's a little rooster and it has a little stand. So you're going to connect it, it will stand up. So I thought that was fun. And then these stickers I absolutely love. So these are 3D foil stickers. It's just one sheet by Forever in Time. So love the seashells. I'll probably make something for Nate's bedroom with those. Three, six, nine, twelve. So love those. I keep on saying love this, love those a lot. Anyways, and then this was another fantastic find because Dollar Tree is an American store and now we have them here in Canada. But we never get any of the fun um, 4th of July items, which I wish they would just, you know, send up something that was red, white, and blue. But this was in their stationery section. These are four little notepads for $1.25. I think that's fantastic. So there's 60 rule sheets on each, and they are 3 inches by 5 inches. So, And they just have, like, um, this one says, America the Beautiful, established 1776, Liberty... And then this one has the stars. I just want to see what the other two are like. The other two are really cool too. So this one has the fireworks. And then this one has the stars. So I love that. So I probably maybe will cut these. And maybe use them in some kind of art. The back is blanks. But these, just the covers alone. Could use them in some kind of collage maybe. And that's what the paper looks like inside. So Nate can have the paper. And I can use the uh, cover. Or he can use the covers too. So I love those. And then some books. This book here, real uh, the retail price, I saw it, I think, in the inside cover. Yes, it was originally somewhere for $5.95. I got it for $1.25, and this is food for children. So it's got, like, recipe. Actually, this was $1.52. I just noticed a little sticker. So I guess the books now at the Dollar Tree are $1.50. So that's good to know. But this little simple little recipes that maybe Nate and I can do together. I mentioned before that I do not really cook. I'm more straight out of the fridge, soup, salad, kind of pasta, but maybe we could try some of these items if they're easy enough. But yeah, cute little book. And then this one, I'm actually going to clear this and I'll show you the other book I picked up. So this one was also a dollar fifty. This is my first art activity book so it's got 35 fun and easy art projects for children ages seven and up and this originally retailed somewhere in the uk for ten dollars in the u.s 14.95 and in canada 17.95 so to get it for a dollar fifty i think is really great lots of different little projects that we can do for different things so love that i just think it's fantastic you know when you're uh, your child comes to you and says they're bored when they have, you know, a million things to do, but they're still bored. You can just um, pull out one of these books. And, you know, it even has, like, some templates. So, just, I think that's absolutely uh, fantastic. It does look like there is some other books that you can pick up. So, there's my first craft book, my first origami book, my first sewing book, and my first cupcake decorating book so I'll have to keep my eyes open for those but yeah great little book I also picked these up at the Dollar Tree I picked up 10 packages I did let Nate already open one when he was at his dad's house and he got this one which I believe is Rumble so you just squeeze it and the little blue light comes on so I'm not sure if all the lights on these are all blue but these are the Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Micro Light and they're just spotlight and it says squeeze me so it looks like from the packaging there's six characters to collect and they're for ages three and up so hopefully I got him the 10 packs hoping that he will get all six characters he might have a lot of doubles but hopefully not so 
as I was filming this, Nate wanted to open all these. So what I'm going to do is I did make a video of um, after like when I opened all these and showed. And uh, if you want to know if you got the full set of these, I will link my other channel, which is more of my American Girl doll channel. And now it's kind of my like more toys and stuff on there. So what I'll do is check back. If the link's not down there uh, after you watch this video, then check back in a couple of moments the channel name is Parker Quinn so I will link it if you want to see if uh, Nate's got the whole complete collection of these and the last two items I just have again as rewards those Paw Patrol little light things were supposed to be part of his little rewards as well but he wanted to open them all to see if he got the whole set so I'm gonna put these in his rewards he's still looking for this one which is Rainbow Dash so these are the My Little Pony collector takes you get one kind of dog take style and then you get a little trading card that goes with it so that's kind of what the dog takes look like in the cards so he still is looking for his rainbow dash so hopefully he can get it and the ball chain on it is 22 inches and then there's also another little chain that comes off i'll show you one of the ones that he opened previously it's like a smaller little four inch chain this one that he's gotten already and uh on the back it has the name of the character so this is the chain and then it also has a detach here and here so what you can do is just make it a small little keychain and then hook it onto a backpack or something so I'll just show you what that looks like here it is with the smaller chain and so you can put that like on your bag even your purse backpack and then you get the other one that's the longer one and you can also take the smaller one and clip it to a longer one and change the style of the necklace but it's great that you have the longer one too and you could add little beads to this and make a whole new other necklace so Nate loves these little collector tags so thanks a lot for watching this video from the Dollar Tree hopefully now that we're open here in Ontario and hopefully you know that the weather's nicer we'll get out to his dad's house more often throughout the summer and I'll have more Dollar Trees hopefully thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll talk to you in my next one bye for now